You've probably seen the thumbnail, so you know what I'm talking about here today. We're talking about Shaun of the Dead, and this is the 2009 Blu-ray release of Shaun of the Dead. This came out in August of 2009, so this is just barely over 15 years old. And this release right here has a shining example, in my opinion, of what a standard 5.1 surround sound mix can actually sound like and really what it can do to really create an atmosphere and give you just a full-fledged audio experience. Like most of my Blu-ray, DVD reviews, stuff like that where I talk about content on a disc, I'm not really going into what the actual plot of the movie is. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, this came out in 2004 originally, and it's a zombie movie, if you can't tell by the cover art that's on here. And more or less, this movie is a parody. It parodies all the popular zombie movies up in until that kind of early 2000s period. The only exception really is like 28 Days Later. Uh, this more so focuses on like Night of the Living Dead and George A. Romero's zombie movies and all its spin-offs and sequels that kind of came from Night of the Living Dead. More or less, it's like any run-of-the-mill zombie movie. It's a group of people uh, that live in this movie in London and they are trying to su survive a zombie apocalypse. I mean, it's very run of the mill, but that's kind of the point of this movie and kind of the point of the two sequels that follow this is their parodies of big budget kind of blockbuster style movies that came before it. That's basically what this is. Now, this movie is basically a comedy, but it does include some pretty good horror elements and you know, a little bit of action kind of stuff thrown in there a little bit. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I want to talk about is this specific Blu-ray release in general. It's a standard 1080p transfer. Uh, looks pretty good here, you know, in my home theater. And not a whole lot of, uh, you know, DNR or processing or stuff was done on it, which is kind of good because this came out in 2009, like I said. And that was still at a time period where there was a good chance, you know, more often than not, a good chance that you could get a really bad transfer for movies on Blu-ray. Because that was still only like three, four, maybe five years into the Blu-ray format. And I feel like Blu-ray really didn't take off with its really good quality Blu-rays kind of in general until it hit like the 2010s. Uh, but even up till that point, and even still to, to today really, you can get bad transfers on Blu-rays. But early on, there was a lot of bad transfers with really bad DNR, artifacting, really bad audio mixes, really bad uh, just issues with like smoothing out the image and changing things in there. Uh, and there's numerous examples online of earlier Blu-rays that really butchered its source material. To get a movie that came out in 2004, so you know only a handful of years later, coming out in 2009 on this Blu-ray, and having a pretty decent picture quality is actually a pretty good sign, especially when this is not a huge blockbuster movie. You know, this isn't Jaws, this isn't Jurassic Park or Independence Day or, you know, a classic like Wizard of Oz or Gone with the Wind. You know, this is more of a low budget uh, kind of cult classic movie. And I don't even know at that time if this had that cult following as much as it does today. So to have a good video transfer on this disc is actually kind of a surprise. What I want to talk about is the audio mix, the audio quality that's on this disc that's 15 years old. Now, I had never watched this Blu-ray in my home theater as it sits right now. I remember watching this years and years and years ago before I had to switch around my home theater when I had my projector and all my shelving and stuff fall down, you know, a number of years ago. So I've never really watch this in my home theater in its current setup up until just recently. And that was during the homecoming weekend for my college that my wife and I both attended. And we had some friends come down for homecoming. And as we normally do, we will watch a movie. We'll let the people that come to stay with us pick a movie to watch. And a lot of times it's kind of the same things over and over. But this year they picked Shaun of the Dead, that they wanted to watch that. And so it was the first time I had ever watched this movie and this release specifically in my home theater in its current form. Like I said, the picture quality was good and you know, you know, pretty decent for what it is. 
But what really surprised me and what really got me was the audio quality on this. This is just a standard 5.1 DTS MA audio mix. So this isn't even 7.1 and this isn't Atmos. This is just a standard 5.1 surround sound mix. And the fact that this movie at its core is a comedy movie, it's a parody movie, you would think that the audio mix would pretty much be relegated to the front stage, that you would get most of the action, and by action I mean the actual audio action, you know, that's coming through the speaker, through probably the center channel, and then maybe a little bit on the left and right hand speakers, and that the surround speakers would be used probably very sparsely considering it's a, basically a comedy movie with a lot of dialogue and stuff like that. But this mix is actually quite the opposite. It is, in my opinion, one of the shining examples of how a 5.1 audio mix, especially something from the early 2000s, can really use a 5.1 setup to its full benefit. Now there's several scenes in this movie and I may try and throw some audio footage in here uh, that depends on whether or not it gets copyright struck. We'll see what happens. If it shows up, then obviously it didn't. Uh, but if it doesn't pop up in here, then it obviously got copyright struck. But there's multiple scenes in this movie that utilize the entire surround stage. You get audio that comes out of specific speakers. So a good example, when the zombie outbreak first happens and Sean, who's Simon Pegg's character, walks from his flat across the street to the corner store. After the outbreak has happened, you hear cars and police sirens going by you in the surround channels from side to side. You hear a dog barking off in the distance. You can hear the zombie slowly creeping around. He stumbles on the ledge of the uh, curb of the sidewalk and kind of stumbles and you hear that off to the side. He walks into the Quickie Mart and as he walks into the Quickie Mart, the music from the Quickie Mart that's playing and the news broadcast on the radio comes in and it floats over as he walks through the store. And then as he, you know, goes and gets what he's getting out of the store and goes to leave, that audio then goes again from like the back to the front as he walks in and out of the store. And so it's really uh, just atmospheric and enveloping. But that's not the only scene uh, and not the only thing that this audio mix has. It has really good dynamics. So because again, it's a parody of zombie movies and things like that, it uses the classic trope of like the loud sting noises. So like if someone were to, you know, slam shut a door, or open a door, or open a cabinet, and then behind it, there's someone there and you hear the like, <laughs> This movie uses that kind of as a gag multiple times. And the extreme dynamics of that audio range is there. You get a lot of low end and a lot of high end as those stings kind of hit when they open and close doors and someone else is standing there. Uh, so it's really dynamic. They also have multiple musical segments in this movie uh, where they play popular music from like Queen and different rock bands. And the music is just totally enveloping and really dynamic in the mix. And sound effects come up as they're firing guns and hitting zombies and doing things. You hear a lot of little squishes and, uh, you know, zombie noises and just different things that are going on. So really, this audio mix for a standard 5.1, not even a 7.1, let alone an Atmos mix, is extremely dynamic and extremely enveloping and atmospheric and really something that you would not expect in a movie like this. Because like I said, at its core, this is a comedy and most comedy movies are pretty much isolated to the front stage of the audio. Uh, like I said, I tried to throw in a few little clips if they didn't show up, that means they were copyright struck, so I do apologize. I'm trying to get away from the uh, floating head type of videos that a couple people have made comments on, which I think is kind of funny. But uh, if it doesn't show up, that's why. But if it does, then they cleared copyright. This is a 15-year-old Blu-ray disc, and I would put the audio mix on this Blu-ray up against any other modern mix for atmosphere and for the overall dynamics. I, I think it can com compete with just a ton of movies nowadays because it is extremely dynamic. It is extremely just atmospheric and enveloping. And it's just a really good listen. 
and I was really taken aback by it when we watched this a couple weeks ago. Uh, I was not expecting much, you know, when we watched it. I had seen this movie multiple times, but yeah, it really got me with how good the sound quality is on this disc. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to close this video out. Uh, this is my first video in like almost... I think like 10 or 12 days, uh, something like that, maybe even longer. I have to look back at my channel. But uh, I'm looking to make more content here in the future. I want to say thank you to everyone who's stuck with my channel uh, over you know the course of this year and especially this last week or two as everything has gone on, uh, to see all the comments and the words of support. Uh, you know, and everything out there, the good vibes that everyone was sending me. I know me and my wife really appreciate that. And I'm going to be looking to get some more content out here soon now that my dog's starting to do better and I don't feel like I have to be right by his side uh, watching over him. So with that, I'm going to say thank you. And I will see you the next time in the next video here on Secondhand Home Theater. Uh, by the way, I have a small little special clip here at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. So I apologize for the image quality. You may or may not be able to see my dog sitting back here because he is black and tan. He's a Rottweiler. So he kind of blends into the seat cover. Uh, he's here. He's sleeping at the moment. But this is Winston right here. He's the dog that I made the post about uh, with everything. He has been pretty sick. But he's getting better. And he's actually able to get down here in the home theater. This is the first time he's been down in the home theater in like 10 or 12 days uh, because he just physically wasn't able to go up and down the like 16 steps or whatever it is uh, to get down to our basement. So he is pulling through and I just wanted to put this little uh, end cap kind of thing at the end of the video uh, just to tell everyone that uh, my wife and I are really grateful for everyone who sent us all the uh, positive thoughts and positive vibes. And uh, our dog is doing better. And, uh, you know, I am, you know, a big enough person to admit <laughs> that uh, I really thought he might not make it uh, because he was really sick and he was really weak and just really feeble and not able to do anything, uh, not eating, not drinking, you know, stuff like that. But luckily, he's started to pull through and he's getting back to his normal self. He's able to eat and drink and get up and play a little bit. And like I said, this is the first time he's been able to actually come down all those stairs and get here, you know, in the home theater. So for those of you out there who may be interested in, you know, what was going on, because I know there's quite a few of you who left me, like I said, positive comments and stuff on my community post. Uh, I just wanted to put this little uh, bookend here on the video. Uh, of our dog um, of course he was awake and was like looking at me as I was setting the camera up but of course now that I actually hit record he's gonna you know decide to sleep and not you know look up at the camera but uh, he's a good boy you know and he's he's pulling through so uh, with that I'm gonna end this video and I just want to say thanks again to everyone out there we really do appreciate the support so uh, from like me and my wife and of course my dog Winston here we really do appreciate it and uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.